Molly. I am going to be doing a white negative space pour today and I'm going to be doing it on a rectangular canvas, a two foot by three foot. And I wanted to do kind of like a, a Dutch pour, like a blow dryer technique up on the top corner and kind of in the middle to the bottom corner and then leave the rest as negative space. So I'll see if it works, but it's kind of the idea that I had in my mind. I normally do my Dutch pours on square canvases and um, I'm gonna also try um, a technique of, you know, the three elongated canvases. I've seen a lot of people doing that lately as well, but my idea in my head was for this one. I'm gonna be using my signature blues that I always use. I'll list everything down in the description and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and talk through everything as I'm pouring. Um, but I'm using, um, I'm actually using a mixture of house paint and regular acrylic paint, a little bit of gloss medium and Floetrol, uh, GAC 800 and some water. You wanna make sure that you are getting a pretty good amount of the paint off the canvas to begin with. Um, otherwise, I've noticed with some different types of the white uh, house paint, the colors will kind of, the white will kind of swallow them up. So I've been trying different mediums to see if I, let me see where I want to go here, I think right there. I've been trying different mediums to see how they work to, um, to try to stop that from happening. So that was phthalo blue. And your consistency on these, when I do the bigger pours, I try to have my paints just a, you know, a little bit thicker, but you want them thin enough that they're gonna be able to travel the whole distance of the canvas, and that's really important. And so if they're too thin, you may end up getting breaking. If they are too thick, they won't move. And if they're just right, you'll know, because the the painting comes out absolutely beautiful. But one way that I can tell normally that my paints are a little too thick, I mean, sorry, too thin, is I'll start to get this ring around the outside where the white is already starting to swallow them up. Okay. I think this aqua is going to be really pretty in there. Okay, I think that actually might be enough paint. So I'm gonna pour right around there. And I'm just using whatever house paint is semi-gloss interior latex that um, is on sale really at any hardware store. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna get going. So I want this blue to reach a little bit further. What I did there was I turned my um, I turned my blow dryer on cool, which is a little bit higher. So when your paint stops moving like this, it's actually the white underneath it that you know you need more white to kind of push it over. So I'm actually going to start right there. the cells that are popping up in this are just amazing. And I think it's because I've added back in a little bit of gloss medium um, and the original acrylic white paint to this. So now I have this white here and I'm gonna blow this again and it'll be able to move it a little bit more. See that white help that blue move all the way to the outer edge. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of the cobalt here. Woo, that was high. You don't want high. Yes. 
And then I'm gonna do a little bit of the aqua here. So yeah, those are kind of some of the tips and tricks that I've been learning doing these large pours. And you have to have your canvas level. If you don't have your canvas level, it's a no-go. All your cells will dissipate. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to this puddle. I'll try to do it so you guys can actually still see it. I think I should do it from this side still. One of the viewers had said I should have a, um, uh, like a overhead plug so that I don't have to hold this every time. And man, are you right. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna blow it this way first. over the colors, and then I'm gonna blow it out. When I want it to travel more, I put a little more white down. Again, if I want it to travel a little bit more, a little bit more white. Oh, that was a lot more white. You guys will not believe these cells. I'm going to show them to you. going and you guys can't hear me I know but I always talk and give my tips while I'm going and then people ask me afterwards and I'm like but I said it <laughs> all right last one last pass I think
think the last little thing that I may do is just mouth blow out just a little bit of that, but I'm gonna do that off camera. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then you guys can always check out my dried result on my Instagram. So look at these cells that I get with this house paint gloss medium mixture. I mean, it's just crazy. I love those pops of color. I love the lacing in this. I just hope it dries this way and I will show you guys for sure. I won't post the video probably until it dries so that I can make sure that what I'm telling you is correct. <laughs> but let me see if I can get a... But that's the overall piece. I really, really like it. I actually like the negative space. I like everything about it. All right, you guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're having any issues with anything. Check out all my social media. Find me. Talk to me. I love you guys. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.